الله يا قدس سلام الله يا قدس فداك الروح والنفس سلام الله يا قدس فداك الروح والنفس بهاد الدين والتقوى الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome back to my YouTube channel so today we're going to start our video in a very different way and we're all going to recite the ruth together so read with me اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد. The reason why we're starting our video with our truth today is because I am sure. Just like me, you have all been following the news very closely. Um, if you have children in school, you'll see how political everything has become. Um, I have been, since the news has broken, um, really down, um, as well as many of my uh, people that I know, the friends, um, the mothers of the children that I teach. Um, it's just been a real, real eye-opener. Um, Alhamdulillah for everything because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Alim al Ghaib wa Shahada. He has the knowledge of the seen and the unseen. He is aware of his plans and whatever he plans, Alhamdulillah, by far are the best of plans. Uh, we must have the wakal in Allah and we must believe that everything he does do is for a reason and there's a far bigger purpose that we know of not. The purpose and the reason why I'm making this video, I'm trying to reach out to as many people as I possibly can um, because you're probably going through um, a lot of feelings and emotions um, with everything that's been happening on uh, the leadership front from uh, the Middle Eastern countries, from the Muslim countries, from the leaders, um, how there's been a lack of support um, for humanity really. It's not even anything to do with race, religion, colour or creed. It's to do with humanity. What we're seeing at this moment in this world with the bombing of Gaza and with the situation that the Palestinians are in, it's just a conflict where it's trying to, it's international human rights, it's a breach, it's an absolute breach because what we're seeing is collective damage. We are blaming a group or an organisation for their wrongs and we're punishing a larger group of people for that and surely that could not be they weren't allowed any food water electricity all the everything all the supplies had ended as if there wasn't under trouble as it was as if there wasn't suffering as it was to then burden them with even more it has truly been a test but like I say I repeat what I said that everything is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there has to be a reason there's got to be a bigger purpose my reason for making the video also is to remind us all what the Prophet has said um, and that is that dua is the biggest tool that you've got it's the most powerful tool that you have and so for our brothers and sisters for all those from the ummah of the Prophet we make a dua but not only do we make dua for them we make dua that this there's a ceasefire because there are innocent people being killed um, we've got people regardless of their religion um, they're being killed um, hospitals are being bombed um, churches are being bombed and it, it, it's just it has to stop it has to stop and this is the purpose of my message today um, I have been very busy on the ground trying to um, raise awareness um, and visit local madaris as well as teaching my own um, about this conflict and that humanity must must take a forefront it must it must we can't silence our voices we can't um, side anyone we must stand up for on the right side of the border and if we don't then we will be accountable not only in this world but in the hereafter too. the weather is treacherous uh, we've been given um, an amber warning by the Met Office um, it's raining um, and it's just torrential rain not even raining torrential rain um, real heavy downpour um, but my missions <laughs> are never ending and I am now en route uh, to a different Madaris um, um, and I'm just going to go there teach them um, on how 
to deal with the conflict um, because we have children on the ground, we have adults on the ground who are facing uh, mental health issues because of what they're seeing. Um, and imagine the trauma that we are going through just by watching this um, through Twitter feeds, through uh, various YouTube channels and just imagine those people who um, are going through this, the mothers are having to hold um, and shroud their children. Imagine the children who are having to shroud and see their mothers being shrouded. What childhood are they having? So um, I'm active on the ground in trying to, um, in my little way, in my very little way, uh, make a difference. So I'm just en route to um, an institute who has invited me to speak um, as a guest speaker um, and hopefully um, resonate um, with what I've just said, um, that we must, we must all unite together and really, really hope and make dua that there's a ceasefire um, because we can't be promoting collective damage. We cannot be seen at all. This is not Islam. This isn't what the Prophet has taught us. This is why we have Iman for those people who have um, been losing sleep over the past few days. This is why, because the Prophet said if one um, person, um, a brother or a sister from your ummah is injured or is in trouble, it's like a whole body, you should also be in trouble, you should be in pain and this is why we're seeing this from across the world there's been an outcry from different various parts of the world um, so we just make dua and, and I'll show you what the weather's like أكثر من عشرة آلام جوا السجن لا من خاف ربع الشعب بسجن طاف والعالم شافوا ما شاف بدنا القسام الخطاب يبا يقصر ويحرر الأجيال So Alhamdulillah, I'm now heading home. Um, I didn't do recording inside um, the Madaris because obviously for privacy reasons, um, I didn't want to be showing uh, maktab children um, and then uh, have them recorded into my video um, and then having to blur people out. So I just decided not to opt for that. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, the message that I conveyed in my video whilst I was going there um, was the message, mashallah, that I conveyed whilst I was there. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow the message to be um, delivered in the correct manner, in the correct fashion, allow their hearts to be opened up, allow them to understand that the message of Islam is one of peace, of Dawheed, um, and this is what we're here to do, uh, the work of the Deen, to serve the community, to serve the Ummah, um, so please remember the people of Palestine, the people of Gaza in your du'as, um, and up until next time, inshallah, I shall see you in another video, look after yourself, Allah Hafiz. صهيوني مهما تكبر وسجونك فوق الثلاثين سجانك يبغى ويتجبر وبأرضي يبني الزلاج